Welcome to this rather unusual video on Euro Channel. Yes, I am surrounded by wolves and that's because of the intriguing topic of this video. It's about urology and a certain autoimmune disease. Generally, many people don't know that there are a lot of diseases which don't belong to urology, strictly speaking, but which also affect the urinary system. Lupus erythematosus, commonly known as lupus, affects multiple organs, including the urinary system. Lupus is Latin and means wolf. In this video, we'll dive into the urological complications associated with lupus and explore their impact on patients' quality of life. It remains elusive what causes the body to attack its own cells. So the reason for why people get sick is unknown. My name is Stefan Bundrock. I'm a board-certified urologist and sexologist. So how come this disease is named after the wolf? Historically, the name was coined during the Middle Ages by physician Rogerius. The typical erosive facial lesions remind of a wolf's bite. Erythematosus means red because of the reddish color of the facial lesions. As an autoimmune disease, lupus erythematosus doesn't strictly belong to urology, but it can impact various organs, including the kidneys and urinary tract. When lupus affects the urinary system, it can lead to a range of urological complications. These can include urinary tract infections, bladder inflammation, blood in the urine, and urinary incontinence. The frequent need to go to the bathroom and bladder overactivity, weak urinary stream and pain in the pelvic floor reduce individual quality of life quite dramatically. It's essential for patients and healthcare providers to recognize these symptoms and address them promptly. Most severe, very frequently occurring, and many times the first manifestation of lupus erythematosus is lupus nephritis. Lupus nephritis is a chronic inflammation of the kidneys because in this condition, the immune system targets the kidneys. Strictly speaking, it doesn't belong to urology, but to nephrology. Lupus nephritis can result in impaired kidney function, proteinuria, high blood pressure, and even kidney failure. Early detection and treatment are crucial to prevent irreversible damage. Proper diagnosis is vital in managing urological complications in lupus patients. Diagnostic methods may involve urine analysis, blood tests, imaging studies, and kidney biopsies. Treatment approaches for lupus-related urological complications vary depending on the severity and specific condition. Medications such as immunosuppressants, corticosteroids, and lifestyle modifications are often recommended to alleviate symptoms and slow down disease progression. Treating urological complications in lupus patients requires a collaborative effort between urologists and rheumatologists. Together, they can develop comprehensive treatment plans tailored to each patient's needs. Close monitoring, regular follow-ups, and ongoing communication between these specialists are essential for optimizing patient outcomes. Living with lupus erythematosus and its urological complications can be challenging for patients. Lifestyle modifications such as maintaining a healthy diet, staying hydrated, and managing stress can help alleviate symptoms. Additionally, support from family, friends, and patient support groups can provide emotional and practical assistance for individuals living with lupus. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. So what place is this? It is a kind of zoo, but there are only wolves and this is combined with a treehouse hotel. You can lie in bed and watch the wolves and most of all, you can howl with them and sometimes they answer.